Hey everybody, welcome back to uh, Summer Camp Tips. Um, parents uh, are not the only ones that need to uh, get ready and get information for summer camps. Um, campers are as well. So I'm going to go over some tips that you can use for your camper uh, to get them prepared to go to summer camp. So stay to the end of the video, like, subscribe, and share, and you'll find out about my new giveaway. And let's get busy. Okay, uh, this information right here is for you, the camper, not for mom and dad. It's all for you. So some of the things that I'm going to go over today are going to be things that you can do to help yourself prepare uh, for going to uh, summer camp. Okay, um, before you go to camp, um, your parents has taken a lot of time to find the right camp just for you to go. But there's things that you can do being a camper uh, to prepare yourself for uh, camp this summer. So I'm going to go over some things that's just for you, uh, the camper, so you can get prepared for camp. If you want to share it with your friends or your parents, feel free to do so. If not, shh, we'll keep it our little secret. Okay, uh, getting ready for summer camp. Now, the very first one is learn how to take care of yourself now when you go to camp you're going to be there without mom and dad so you're going to have to learn how to take care of yourself without them being there so what does that mean that means you're going to have to learn how to clean up after yourself in the cabin that means that you're going to have to know how to shower uh wash off comb your hair brush your teeth um all of these things that if you ever need help at home, mom and dad is always there. So by you going to camp and being independent, these are some things that you're going to have to learn before camp starts to make sure that you're prepared for camp. Okay, camp can be a little overwhelming for you. Um, so uh, obviously you're going to be nervous and worried about a few things, but don't be afraid to uh, ask questions of adults um, of anything that may be making you nervous uh, when you go to camp. Now, don't worry about being nervous. Don't worry about being scared. Everybody has done it uh, the first time, uh, maybe just like you. So if you're nervous and you don't know what to expect, um, talk to your mom and dad. And if they can't answer the question, they can pick up the phone, call the camp, and get answers to any questions that you may have. Um, another way to do it is you can talk to your friends. Um, I'm sure that some of your friends have uh, been to summer camp and if there's some things that make you nervous um, you could talk to them and I'm sure that they'd be more than happy to help you out. Okay the other one is uh, talk to your friends um, that's been to summer camp. Um, they were nervous at one time just like you were and uh, they'll be able to fill you in on some of the secrets and the ins and outs of camp. And uh, they'll be more than excited to uh, share their experience at camp with you. Because you go to camp one time and you'll never, ever want to stop going to camp. So ask your friends. Okay, uh, while you're at camp, uh, one thing you have to remember, we talked about this a minute ago, that you're going to be independent. So mom and dad is going to be there to take care of you. So... One of the things that you need to remember is you're going to be out in the sun for the most part all day, every day. So it's going to be your responsibility to make sure that you take precautions so you don't get sunburned. Um, if you get a sunburn at camp, there's nothing worse than that. Uh, the cabin's hot at night. Uh, you're going to be out in the sun more. So you want to take responsibility for your own care. And in the morning, when you get up, Part of getting ready for the day is you'll go brush your teeth uh, before you go to breakfast. Take some of your sunblock and put it all over wherever you need it, and then you'll be good for the day. Now, usually you go back to your cabin for a little while uh, before dinner, and uh, again, before you go on to dinner and then your next activities for the day, pick up your sunblock and put a little bit more on. Uh, in the long run, you're going to like it. And uh, like I said before, you do not want to get a sunburn at camp. Okay, don't worry about getting sick at camp, okay? If you get a cold or a blister or something like that, 
Um, camps have professionals there that will take care of you, just like your mom and dad would, or even your own doctor. So don't worry about getting sick at camp. They got it totally under control. It'll be great for you. I want you to feel more comfortable knowing that if you get sick or if something happens, that there are people there that's going to take care of you. Okay, everybody knows um, that sometimes it can be really hard for you to make friends really fast. And that's one of the things that you want to do when you get to camp, is you want to find some kids um, that like the things that you do, that do the same things that you do. And it really helps a lot if you can start this process um, before you get to camp. So sit down with your parents and go to the camp's Facebook page and see if any campers are writing there. Um, go to the camp's web page uh, and see if they offer a, a post where you can tell people about yourself that's going to be at camp. And uh, you will find some friends there that you can talk back and forth with before you get to camp. And when you do that, when you get to camp, you already have a few friends. So you have a few friends to start with, and then you can build upon that to make other friends. So uh, make sure if you can, before going to camp, look up and see if there's a place that you can go to talk to the campers. So you'll have friends when you get there. Okay. Here's the time that you go get your parents and ask them to come in for one second, okay? I'll wait. Okay, hopefully your parents are there. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Um, this is something that the camper can do in advance to make sure that they get the most out of summer camp, all right? So what you want to do is you want to check out what activities the camp offers in advance because you don't want to get to camp <clears throat> and sign up for archery when the camp has an overnight camping trip that you would like to do better. So what you want to do is you want to sit down with mom and dad, check out the web page, see what activities they offer, and then you can sign up for those. But don't go to camp without seeing what they offer first because you're going to miss out something probably that you would really enjoy. Okay, and another reason uh, that you want to check out in advance is sometimes uh, some of the activities at camp may fill up. So let's say the camp offers uh, horseback riding and you don't know about it in advance. Now, when you get to camp and see that they have horseback riding uh, and you want to do it, there's a slight chance that that activity could be full. So sit down with your parents, see what activities they have, and pick them for them. Okay? Now, parents, time for you to leave again. It's time for me and the camper. All right? I'll wait. Okay. Okay. When you get to camp and you get to, to the cabin, um, hopefully, like I said a minute ago, that you'll have some friends. But if you don't or you want to make some new friends, one of the biggest things is don't be shy. Um, you're not going to be at camp that long, so you want to definitely get started on making friends as soon as you can. So don't be shy to talk to other people. Now, the other hint that I can give you is don't talk too much about yourself. Um, introduce yourself to some other campers. Uh, tell them a couple things that you like and then let them talk and see what kind of things they like and you might like things in common. But don't get to camp and start talking to new campers and say, uh, hi, my name is Billy, I'm good at this, I'm good at that, I'm good at this, I'm fantastic at that. Don't take over the conversation, okay? Just talk to them just like you would a friend at home, introduce yourself, and then let the conversation take place. So don't take over the conversation. Got it? Peace. Okay, um, you arrive at camp. Now, you're used to being at home where mom and dad will help you out. Um, they'll pick up after you. Um, if you have any questions, uh, they're there to answer it. But when you get to camp, that's not going to happen because mom and dad isn't going to be there. So what you need to do is practice before you get to camp. And some of the things you want to practice is, uh, I'm sure you already know how to do it, but brushing your teeth, how to properly take a shower, 
Um, you want to learn how to comb and brush your hair if need be. You need to know how to put on sunblock and uh, you know how to put on bug spray. There's a lot of things that you need to learn before you get to camp because mom and dad is going to be there to uh, uh, help you out. So one of the things that you can do to really help yourself out is before going to camp, take the time and spend the night, do a sleepover at some other friends of yours house so that way you're used to being away from home. I know it sounds like it doesn't make sense, but just do it. You have a good night spending the night with your friends playing games and such, but make sure to do a trial run and spend a couple nights at your friend's house. Now, this is a real important one for you, okay? Don't wait to the day before or the day of leaving for camp to pack your bags because if you do that, I'll guarantee that you will forget something at home. So, even a week before camp, if you want, if you got that favorite teddy bear or your favorite PJs, um, if you want to, even a week before camp, um, go ahead, put it in the suitcase then so you don't forget it the day you're leaving for camp. So again, make sure to pack early and don't wait to the last minute. The other day, the other day.